The summer season brings with it a cornucopia of arty events to choose from, and here to help plan your out and about summer schedule, we brought in some heavy hitters, and I'm gonna start on the end over here. Senior arts editor of City Arts Magazine, Jonathan Muscleman Zwickle. There he is. Okay. <laughs> in the middle here, managing editor at Crosscut and contributing writer to Seattle Magazine, Florangela One Two Punch Davila. Hello. <laughs> and arts writer, Brandon, what are you looking at, Davis? <laughs> All right, you guys, so uh, the assignment was to pick two or three performances or events that are on your must-see list for the summer, and you're going to start us off. Okay. So let's hear it. All right, so I'm starting off with Yayoi Kusama, who's yes. doing Infinity Mirrors at SAM. Big show. Um, big, big show. Yep. Um, this is a Japanese artist. She's now 85 years old, mm -hmm. and she's been um, doing this for 65 years. Mm -hmm. And um, she works in all kinds of mediums, but her, what she's known for are these infinity rooms where she packs these mirrored rooms with forms or polka dots or lights, mm -hmm. um, these sort of blobby things that appear to go on forever. Because of the, of the mirror Because of the mirror, right, yeah. Right. And, and what she's trying to do, she's said in other interviews, is to sort of obliterate the self mm -hmm. um, and make you feel your connectedness with the universe. Mm -hmm. um, she, she said that the earth is just like a polka dot among a, a you know yeah. a sky of polka dots. So yeah. Um, so yeah, intense repetition and connectivity and really cool cool visuals. And it's interesting too because of course she's she's got uh, been living with mental illness for most of her life, yeah. right? And she lives in a mental hospital. She does. Which I think it's really fascinating. Yeah, across the street from her studio apparently. Yeah. And then so she, she goes there every day. Goes there and and works um, right. studiously on new work every day, and then just goes feels there. more comfortable mm -hmm. going in back that to the contained kind of environment. Yeah, to yeah. The institute. That's a so. going to be a great show. And you got to get on, on that one really, really fast. Yes. Okay, second, what do you second got? Second one, also space related. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of universes this summer. Yeah. Um, 2001 A Space Odyssey, mm -hmm. uh, performed live by the Seattle Symphony. Fabulous. Obviously, a masterpiece work by Stanley Kubrick, mm -hmm. who said, I learned when he uh, was making this, he wanted to make a film about man's relationship to the universe. Mm. So I'm thinking about this with the infinity mirrors, too. Right, this, right. Where are we in, in the universe? Where are we, indeed? <laughs> and, <laughs> Uh, so for this, they take out um, the score that's in the film, they bring the big screen down, yeah. they show the film, and then the symphony plays the score, which is magnificent. Oh, yeah. And there's, I can't remember who the conductor is. Do you know, it's a, a I Pablo didn't Rosetta it. or something like Oh, yeah, like that. yeah, he's yeah, a so visiting he's conductor. conductor. Right, yeah, right. which will be good. And yeah. they do the ba 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 I'm going to play in the, I don't know if you knew. I'll oh, awesome. With, yeah, I've got a little, uh, little part. <laughs> Tiffany. <there>. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> Tiffany. Okay, those are great. And uh, so let's move on to you, Little Miss. Okay. What do you got? One, two, punch. One, two, um, punch. <laughs> my first punch is, uh, I want something edgy okay. summer, right? Mm -hmm. uh, welcome to Braggsville at Book It Theater, yep. written by probably the guy who has the best name these days, um, an author named T. Geronimo Johnson. That is a good name. The book is a satire on race. Mm -hmm group of college kids at Berkeley mm -hmm. decide to visit a little tiny town in Georgia to that where reenactments of the Civil War are taking place. Tongues stayed civil. No one said civil. No one is guilty. But they're there to teach a lesson to the Southerners mm -hmm. by staging a performative art intervention sort of scene, and it goes awry. Mm. Every, everybody gets skewered, academia, white liberals, African-American, oh. it's a multicultural I love when everyone gets hit. It you just know? makes it way more interesting. Exactly, yeah. one, two, one, right? two. one, two. See, there's one, two, punch. <laughs> there it is. What's My your second, second pick is Hoodoo Love at Sound Theater. Excellent. Hoodoo Love, it's set in the Depression. It's mm. about a female mm. blues singer. Mm. She has a love interest. She has a brother. She has hoodoo in her life. She's trying to make it big. Uh, it's written by a woman named Katori Hall, who is this fiercely well-respected young African-American playwright. Mm -hmm. Is this a new play? Or? No, it's new for Seattle. Okay. Um, the director of this play is a young African-American woman who's also getting a lot of buzz named Malika Oyedeman. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's currently doing a show at Bar at, called Barbecue at Intamon oh, that, that everyone's raving about. So, right, yeah. so here she goes from that to this story. She's done this uh, production before. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of love. There's going to be live singing. Oh, it's great. in a small space. It's it's a good escape. I'm yeah. really looking forward to it. Oh, excellent. Those are two great ones. All right, Matt and Cleanup. 
Well, uh, it's summertime, so I'm all about the outdoor concerts and music yeah, events yeah, yeah. that come through Seattle this time of year, <clears throat> and the Northwest in general. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, the Woodland Park Zoo has this wonderful venue that's there in the zoo. Yep. So coming up uh, on June 20th is a guy named Seu George. Mm -hmm. It's a Brazilian singer uh, who people probably would recognize from The Life Aquatic, uh, right. where he was the dude sort of in the background throughout the entire film. Yeah gently strumming an acoustic guitar and singing David Bowie songs in Portuguese, which is basically what he's going to be doing at the zoo. And it, came is through he doing and, acoustic? Yeah, 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 it's just him with the guitar. And he played at Benaroya a few months ago, and apparently that show was just gorgeous. Uh, I think outdoors uh, mm -hmm. in that setting is going to be even better. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then also, uh, you know, Mary Moore Park has mm -hmm. a concert series all summer long. And on the 27th of June, they've got uh, a guy named Todd Terje, who is a Norwegian uh, disco electronic music producer. But he plays with a full band when he plays live, and it's phenomenal. It's great, super upbeat, light, danceable music. Yeah. Uh, and then also a band from Sweden called Jaga Jazzist that plays this sort of edgy, progressive jazz music. Mm. And then further afield, in uh, Oregon, in I Oregon, mean, yeah, yeah, outside of Portland, mm -hmm. uh, the best music festival on the West Coast, as far as I'm concerned, is called Pickathon. And just as far as the lineup, the production value, the food and drink that are on offer, the crowd, the whole thing is just geared for music lovers. It's kind of a graduate level music festival, mm -hmm. I would say. Mm -hmm. All right, and there was one more thing that I asked you to talk about, which yeah, is? It's the Goat Olympics. Yes, uh, the Goat Olympics. Yeah, which I can't personally vouch for. I've never been, <laughs> yeah. but with a name like that. Apparently it's a, a goat costume parade, goat races, goat <laughs> obstacle oh, courses. No. Goats and their people come out and basically show off their stuff. So if you're into goats, if you're into goats <laughs> and who and, isn't? And who isn't, exactly. <laughs> well, hey, you guys, those are all outstanding suggestions. Great, great wrangling. And I want to give a little toast to the three of you and a toast to summer fun. Hey, Cheers! Summer fun. Cheers. 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 G and T's in the morning. Mm. Mm. Oh. That's a good one. It is.